keeping you connected. Welcome back to Austin News Today. It is 9.40 right now. Here's a live look outside at I-35 near St. John's. You can see that fog is still there, but it's finally lifting a bit, and there's some cars out there on the road. Well, if you are looking for something to do today, then you are not going to want to miss the 21st annual Lone Star Vegetarian Chili Cook-Off. Wait a second, even if you're not a vegetarian, you are going to love this because there are dozens of different chilies that you can taste. We have Kaz with us this morning, and she's going to talk a little bit about the vegetarian chili cook-off and how so many people come out to participate. Good morning. Good morning, Jenny. Thanks for joining us. Thank you All for right. Having so let's talk a little bit about this cook-off. I was a judge there last year, and it was just so much fun. Hundreds of people showed up for yeah, it. Yeah, we had about 800 people last year. As you mentioned, this is our 21st annual, and the first one we ever had was at the farmer's market, so we've come full circle to return to the farmer's market again, and we're really excited to be there. And what I love is that you have contestants from all over the state right, all that over come the in, state. and it is competitive. Like, they don't <laughs> joke around with their chili in Right, this case. it's serious stuff. We have 21 teams competing this year, and we have one, uh, one particular chili that always seems to get the people's votes, and people are always trying to outdo the quintessential chili from Don Barnes in San Antonio. <laughs> okay, so now you get a chance to go out there and make your voice heard, and what I love is that you really, it's its not that expensive. What is it, 10 bucks? It's $7. $7 for adults to get and in. Three for children. And you get to try 21 different 21 chilies. 21 different chilies. I mean, who can beat that? That's cheaper than any kind of lunch. It's over there at the farmer's market uh -huh. on Burnett Road, right? right? And you brought just come on a, a couple of examples of what vegetarian chili looks yeah. like for people who may not know. I, I think people think the vegetarian chili is all beans and uh, lentils, but it's actually very hearty. It looks just like real, just chili. Right. Uh, it's got textured vegetable protein in it, wheat gluten. It's delicious. Some of it's spicy, some of it's not. It's all delicious. It absolutely is delicious. When I was still thinking when I was a judge last year, you're trying every different taste, and so it really the flavors range completely. Very much so. We've even had raw chili in the past. We've had chocolate chili, Indian chili, Thai chili, anything goes. So if you love chili, it doesn't matter if you're not a vegetarian, you're going to love to participate in this. It's a very fun event, very Austin event. Very much People so. People all over the place are there, and there's a lot of different organizations that are advertised there, so right. you can find out about more of them. Right, there's lots of that. animal rights groups, uh, organic food groups, pro-vegetarian groups, animal rescue groups. There's lots of vendors will be there today. Lots of door prizes too. Even more reason to come out. <laughs> and I have to give a disclaimer that uh, Kaz and I will be emceeing the event. So come out there. We'll have fun. We'll, we'll have a good music, a lot of live music, a lot, lot of music, great food. Door prizes. And it's a lot of fun. All right. So here is the chili that you can just get an idea. You can see it's very hearty. It will fill you up. We guarantee that. $7 to get in, $3 for kids. You can't miss that. We hope to see everybody out there. All right, wonderful. Come visit today at the Farmer's Market off Burnett Road. We will be happy to see you. Now let's check in with Mary. Mary, we want good weather for today. We're going to have 800 people come out. Wow, wow.